How can the arts help people learn, understand, and retain scripture? I guess I see the arts um, as they're another view, another vehicle for communication. Um, you know, scripture being in a in a textual form, in a word based, um, that'll never go away. Mm-hmm. And I I think it's it's one of the things that it's important to understand is that you know when we talk about creativity and visuals and and arts and things like that, it's not that we're ever trying to replace scripture mm-hmm. or replace the words themselves, but we're trying to supplement them and present them in a way that helps people understand them better. Um, so when I, when I think about the arts in terms of how it re- relates to scripture, um, you know, it helps us connect, I think, with them in a lot of different ways. Mm-hmm. So for example, visuals, I think the main advantage that visuals have is speed, uh, mm-hmm. where they allow us to grasp a concept immediately mm-hmm. and so quickly. Um, and that, that plays into the idea of, of being able to retain what's being learned. Um, my daughter just took her driving test mm. and you can pray for us. Yes. <laughs> um, and when, when she's doing that, when she was studying for this test, she mastered the visual part of that so much quicker mm. than, than the written or the, um, the verbal form of it. Mm. And I think it's the same thing with scripture and we can pair, you know, visuals and images and, um, those, those types of uh, artistic pursuits with scripture, it helps us retain them mm-hmm. so much quicker. Yeah, I, I wonder if some people's hesitation around the arts is because of God communicating himself through words and right. us being almost afraid sometimes in the church to, yeah. to engage in the arts. What, what's interesting about that, I think it's, we've seen God though when, and I, I totally see what you're saying, but I, I, don't, I don't think, you know, when people say that, mm-hmm. God has communicated himself visually. That, I mean, that's how he revealed himself to us. Mm-hmm. You know, in the Garden of Eden with the tree knowledge of good and evil. Mm-hmm. Um, what was the purpose of that? It was to give Adam and Eve a way to tell God that I love you. Every time they walked past that tree, mm-hmm. this visual symbol, they were saying, I love you, I trust you, I believe what you said. Um, you know, and, and throughout scripture, God gives these little visual cues right. to relate to him. Um, one of the things that I think people maybe struggle with sometimes, though, is the emotion mm-hmm. of the arts. But, I mean, I, I know you don't believe that, and I don't believe <laughs> that either. But, I mean, I think, I think emotion plays a big part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think that's a beauty of the arts is that it allows, it engages our senses so right. that we can emotionally connect. Mm-hmm. Well, how can we read these stories and not feel what Naomi is feeling, right. you know, when her husband and everybody dies. We need to be able to feel that, and the arts can kind of, like you said, be mm-hmm. a vehicle, not just to communicate it, but to allow us to even almost embody mm-hmm. a text or embody a character's um, experience, and as well as memorize, summarize. Yeah. Like, the scriptures, like memorization, mm-hmm. for example, I the ones that I've memorized, like the bigger chunks of scripture through repetition, right. Yes, I had it for a season, but it's the ones that I set to melody. Right. It's the ones that I can sing. Those are the ones that I can yeah. recall right now. Well, why, why do we Why do we teach children songs about scripture? Because right. because it helps them memorize it mm-hmm. so much so much quicker. And we see that in Deuteronomy thirty two, right? Yeah. I mean, you, God told Moses write down this song so that mm-hmm. you guys can pass it on generationally. That right. your kids will sing it in the promised land, and not just inst- to not just instruct them, but mm-hmm. to confront their commitment to Yahweh right. once they're in the promised land. So even God there was employing the arts in a sense so that people can take in his word and retain it and memorize it and be confronted and challenged by it. And all throughout the book of Psalms, you know, this this book where we are experiencing the heart of God, who God is, and how is that being communicated? How is it being revealed? Through through song, through repetition, through, you know, lyrical um, structure Mm -hmm. where it's, there's a creativity that's that's behind that and then with the emotions you know people have um when when they have an emotion behind something that's when they have an experience Mm -hmm. and it's so often that it's the experiences that that change us that change our minds that make us see new things and a lot of times those are driven by uh, a change of emotion or an emotion that comes comes over us that's precipitated then by you know, uh, some sort of a artistic pursuit. Yeah, so it seems like this kind of conversation around the arts and creativity needs to be framed in the Imago Dei, in the, yes. the image, us being image bearers of our creative right. God. <laughs>